so earlier we were talking a little bit about the uh the, the point return and all that type of stuff and i was just dropping some things from what i'm picking up and recognizing and i noticed on the chat a lot of the people uh they liked it and they wanted to hear it and things of that nature but you know as i sit here on this radio i try to entertain and talk about the things at, at point but every once in a while i will go down that rabbit hole and tell you some things about what i know it ain't about what i'm thinking or what i'm hearing or what i'm reading is what i know and uh the thing about that position for me i know there are a lot of people out there who like to downplay and poo poo and shoot shoo shoo uh when it comes down to special teams as if it's not important hell it's probably more important than some of this stuff on offense and defense because if I muff a ball when you put it at 65, 70 yards, all of a sudden my defense is no longer on the field, okay, because all of a sudden they stop the people and then I muff it. Their offense is now uh, getting the ball in my in, in the scoring position and my defense is back on the field when they didn't get really, relatively get some, uh, uh, some rest. So when I sit there and I look at the punts, I know a lot of people just look at people catching it uh, and things of that nature. I'm looking at where you're lined up, okay? I'm, if I see a guy lined up at 50 yards, then I don't think there's a punter ever in the history of football that averaged 50 yards. He might hit 150 every once in a while, but if his average is 42, his average is 44, you line up at that point. And then you should be able to move up or back from that position to try and catch the ball. I watch how people track footballs. When I'm watching guys flat-footed, it does absolutely nothing but piss me off. Because if you're flat-footed, that ball is not going to stop moving, especially when it's a little windy like this today, and especially if you get a guy like Tress Way who's a left-footed punter. Because left-footed punters put a different spin than the right-footed punter, and what that ball normally does, it normally tails away from you. And if you're flat-footed, I watch uh, a couple of them today, and I don't want to put people's names like that, but the certain returner was flat-footed, and the ball just fell away from him, and it hit right in front of him. The next time he caught one from a jugs machine and it damn near his helmet off because he wasn't he wasn't tracking the ball right. And that type of thing to me is vitally important. So uh, when we talk about just put this guy back there to return, just because somebody is fast, just because they could catch a ball means absolutely nothing. You need to be able to catch it, track it, be fast, and have an understanding of when you should and shouldn't do certain things. You know, I had never returned punts in my life. Until I got to the NFL. I never did it in Little League. I never did it in high school. Nothing because I was like, they are out there, damn mine. I'm not looking up in the sky when somebody come down to hit. But when they started paying me to do something, uh, and it was a way I had a ticket to make it to the NFL, which was my dream, I began to study it. So I studied Mike Nelms. He didn't fair catch. That's why I didn't fair catch early on. I began to watch Joe Howard Johnson and Walter Stanley on this team. I watched Mel Gray, who was in uh, Detroit. And I began to pick up different things, but then I realized that all of those guys were smaller and shifty. My game was power and speed. So once I caught the ball, I wanted to make sure all of those things were right. Because once the ball was in my hand, I understood that. Because I see a hole, my job was to get through hole before it closes. Not try to shake and dance. The people, I, I told the story a couple of days ago, and a guy from the Steelers told me that uh, I didn't, all he saw me just moving forward all the time. I didn't do a lot of dancing, and, and I didn't have a lot of shiftiness on the field. And I'm like, what's the problem with that? Okay, if I'm getting first downs, I'm gaining yards all the time. Who cares? So in the NFL, the return guy, if you have Devin Hester speed, Dante Hall speed, you can try and do that reverse field stuff. But you know what? God didn't bless everybody with that. So the person like me, and I ran 4 3 6 when I first got here, and you just get through the hole as quick as you can. But all the things that happens before the ball is kicked and right when you catch it is way more important than once the ball is in your hand. The most important thing of all, like I said, ball security. But, hell, you can muff a ball. And if you muff the ball, you're putting your, your defense in a bad situation. You, you stole an uh, opportunity from your, your offense. You know, as uh, John Harbaugh and Wayne Severe both would tell me, that was Wayne was the coach here, John in Philadelphia, if you hand the ball over to the offense after your return, whether it's a one yard or 15 or 50 yard, guess what? It's successful. And I think that's what the guys need to be working on uh, more than that. So when I sit here and I tell you the position I'm looking at is the punt return, and I'm sure some people are probably like, what the hell is he talking about? No, it's important. You know, the chunks of yards that you have to deal with, 
the, the, the position that you can take away from your team or give to your team. That is more important than me deciding on who's going to be the tight end. Okay? Yes, the tight end position has become great in this league. But normally, if you don't have Travis Kelsey, okay, if you don't have a Tony Gonzalez type or a Shannon Sharp type, nobody's going to come to the tight end before they go to the other receivers. That tight end is going to be an afterthought. He's going to be more of a blocker. So until we get one of those guys on our team, I'm not looking at the tight end position over that punt return position because that punt return position, if a mistake happens there, it can hurt you more. If something big happens there, it can help you more. So start paying attention to it and look at it and watch guys when they catch a ball and see how many people backstep, sidestep, and all those different type of things. See if they catch and instantly get upfield because – Every moment you take, if you take a second before you start, somebody has gained 10 to 12, possibly 15 yards closer to you, which means you have less space. And if you have less space, you'll, you when they run closer to you, guess what they do? They bring it in your offensive player too. And you got a big crowd, so you don't have a lot of room to work. I always believe in getting up the field immediately because everybody's going to break down. And when you break down, my I can now utilize you – uh, I use like your position and that my my blocker in the trail position to where I, you your eyes are playing. I can move a little way, get you to slide. That guy comes up. He doesn't have to even block you. Just body shield you and I run right past you. It's all that matters. So that is a very important. And I will hope that all of us as fans get back to what it used to be in D.C. Special teams was important. Special teams helped us get to playoffs, helped us get through playoffs, helped us win Super Bowl. And if we are going to be the team we want to be, we're going to need our special teams to be in the top five, but top ten legitimately, but top five if you want to get there. Kansas City Chiefs, offense is good, defense is good. Every time they won a Super Bowl, they had a special team play that broke a game open for them or brought them back. So special teams is important. I want us to get back to thinking that way, and uh, don't ever forget it. 